This is part three of three of my Barn Door Nightstand series. Thanks for coming back and checking out the third video in this series. If you missed videos one and two, check in the description below and you'll find links to the to the videos there. This is the final video in the series. I hope you have enjoyed the series. The making of two barn door nightstands. Wraps up today. Thanks. I have these four pulleys here for my barn door and uh, to slide on. And I'm just going to use my grinder and grind these off. Now that I got these grinded off, I'm just going to pry them loose from here. Now you'll need to go back and knock this little center punch out unless you have a bolt that will fit through there. And I do not. I have bolts in shot but I don't have that size. So what I did is I, I cut this to the length already. I cut it like an eighth of an inch less than, maybe a quarter of an inch less than the full width of my, my nightstand. And what I did is I went back and, and marked the center. Now I'm going to go back and drill a pilot hole. And now what I'm going to do is go over here to my nightstand and I'm going to line this up where I want it at. And I made a mark where I would like it from the top. Make sure it's centered and then I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole right here. Now I'll use my nut driver and drive this in. And now I'll drill the hole in over here. So these are both finished. And when I say finished, I mean that they have been stained and polyurethane has been put on them already. I didn't record any of that because you guys have seen me do that stuff before. And anyway, boring. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our bar. We'll run this through it. Put our spacer on the back. Just like so, run it through there, then we'll attach it here. Same thing on the other side. Lag bolt. Spacer. And then into the front. Just like so, right there. And now the front's on this one, now let's do the other side. For these pieces you'll take your bolt, stick it through this piece of metal, make sure if you tap your holes where uh, if you countersunk your screws that it's facing on the same side this is. Take a washer, your wheel, another washer, and finally your lock nut. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of pressure to make sure that lock nut holds this in place. 
and now it'll spin freely. Here's the way we're going to line this up. I've got my square for a spacer here. I've got it lifted up on the bottom. You can't see it in the in this shot, but I have it lifted up to where it's just barely below this. And it's in a good spot, so I'm going to go ahead and attach a screw right here. Just like so. And now I'll go ahead and put the top one in as well. I'll put my square there, tighten it up, roll this one over, get it lined up, make sure it looks pretty good at the top. We're in good shape there. And now your door slides. So these are guys are finished and they're fixing to get transported to their new home. So I'll try to upload some pictures maybe on my next vlog of where these end up at and how they look. They slide very nice, a very nice slide here. And both of them do the same. And they turn out, like I said, they turn out great. Very happy with how these turned out. And I know the, the, the couple that's going to get these is going to be extremely happy with the way they look. So if this happens to be your first video and you like this project, hit the thumbs up down below. And that is good. That shows me that you like these kind of projects. Make sure if you're not already subscribed, you subscribe because I have new woodworking videos every single month. I try to do two a month. Occasionally I get more than that, but usually it's two a month. So make sure you subscribe and that lets you see all the videos I have. If you like these projects and you'd like to see them sooner, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I post pictures and updates as I'm doing these projects. So check me out over there. And if you're working on something, tweet me or send me an Instagram of what you're working on. I'd love to see what you guys are working on. I think that's gonna wrap up this one. Thanks again for watching and as always, Y'all will see me next time.